Okay, so let's do chapter eight. Um, I'm going to do some of the questions from chapter eight. And again, we're just getting sort of some of the unit costs to figure out what the total is going to be um, under absorption costing. So for um, this problem is exercise 8-22. And what we're going to do is um, we have 20,000 units and um, 18,900 sold. And so the company is choosing your practical activity, not the um, what's absolutely the best possible scenario, but what's actually realistic to compute its predetermined overhead rate. So let's go ahead and figure out the unit costs for each of them. So um, again, let me go here. That's chapter seven, so eight. So what I'm going to do is, let's do the first one, which is um, direct material costs. I'm going to take the total of the direct material cost, which is 80000 I'm going to divide it by the number of units, which is 20000 So my direct material, oops, not costs, cost is $4 a unit. So for my direct labor costs, same thing. Um, total of 101400 for the cost. And I'm going to divide it by the total number of units, which is 20,000. So 507. And then I have um, my variable overhead cost. And that cost is 15,600 divided by the 20,000 units, 78 cents. I've spelled variable wrong, sorry. And then I have fixed overhead. And that is 54,600 divided by 20,000 units. Excuse me. Okay, so we have our total um, cost per unit for each one. And then number two is I just wanted to find the total unit cost, which is um, $12.58. So for ending inventory, ending inventory, um, I'm going to have the total number of units that I produced. I'm just going to subtract what I sold, and that's going to give me what's left. So if I sold 18,900, that means that I have 1,100 left, okay? So that's all you need to do for that. And then the last part was, what was the cost of my ending inventory? So I'm just going to take ending inventory cost. I'm going to take that 1,100. And I'm just going to multiply it by my cost per unit. So my total cost sitting in um, ending inventory is 13838